Just when you think man couldn't get any more foolish and ignorant and sinful and blasphemous, uh, somebody comes out with something like this and uh, proves it once again that uh, there is none good, there is none righteous, no, not one. We have here the Brick Bible, the complete set, a, the Old and New Testament here, uh, the whole Bible done in Legos. Okay? I was going to take a little look at this thing here. A bunch of blasphemous, satanic nonsense, of course. And uh, you have all these different, you know, news agencies right here promoting it. Oh, it's wonderful and everything else. The guy's name, the, uh, he kind of looks like a sodomite, you know, from the videos I've seen of him. Brendan Powell Smith. Uh, very effeminate and things. And, and, uh, and let me just show you here real quickly before we get into this. This is the... Brick Testament Wikipedia article here. I printed it out. I'll just show it this way. Brick Testament. It's a project created by Brendan Powell Smith in which Bible stories are illustrated using still photographs of dioramas uh, constructed entirely out of Lego bricks. Blah, blah, blah. You know, Bible translation. Uh, throughout stories are retold using passages from the Bible with chapter and verse cited. The wording being a free adaption that Smith says is based on a number of public domain Bible translations. Occasionally, mostly when images are being used to contrast with the underlying scripture, Smith dramatizes the images with his own additional text. He just writes the Bible on his own, whatever. Such text is displayed in gray instead of the usual black. Oh, how nice and wonderful and everything. But it goes on down in here to say, a Rolling Stone article that is included as a link in the Brick Testament website suggests that Brennan Powell Smith is an atheist. What a surprise, you know. And, and, of course, this whole thing is not done as a respectful, you know, honoring scripture. It's done to, to mock the Bible, put the Bible down. That's what this thing is all about. And, of course, you know, they, they show, uh, you know, he's got all kinds of ridiculous nonsense in here. I'll just kind of, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see some of this stupidity. <clears throat> you know, people, see... People learned a long time ago that the Bible, this one right here, the King James Bible, is the best-selling book of all time. No book has ever topped this thing. So people want to get in on a little bit of that action, you know what I mean? And so they're always coming up with all kinds of new, uh, you know, uh, ways to market the Bible, to make the Bible more palatable and, and whatever else. And, uh, you know, make it marketable. Just trying to see. Uh, I just I just got this thing not too long ago, and um, looks to me like he skipped over the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Big surprise there. Yep. Skipped over the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Big surprise. But you know, it goes into the in all these different things here. And this is supposed to be, you know, God here speaking to Abraham or something like this. You know. Just insane. But it goes through all this different stuff. You know, you can just I mean, this is something I'd have never bought. It was sent to me as a, you know, look at this ridiculous nonsense kind of a deal. But, you know, all throughout it's, it's you know, making the Bible, you know, look like this horrible, bloody, terrible book and things. And, you know, it always, it always amazes me, these atheists, you know, they're like, oh, the Bible's so bloody, it's so gory and everything. Um, yes, the Bible reports true history. Okay, the history of man has been very bloody and gory. That, that's called reality. Okay? I mean, I, I know in the atheist mind, they kind of think to themselves, you know, that, that if everybody was atheists, we would all just get along and, and, you know, we would transcend good and evil. Oh, that's right. Uh, they, he shall be as God's knowing good and evil. No connection there. But, you know, we would transcend good and evil and we wouldn't kill each other anymore if everybody could just be atheists. You know? Yeah, Communist Russia, Communist China, boy, they're good examples. You know, there's no killing there. I mean, 
So, you know, again, just, you know, I'm just kind of flipping through here. You know, you can see a lot of this stuff. And, and of course, he's just illustrating most of the, you know, when the Bible reports that there was killing and, and war and things like that, of course, he likes to, uh, you know, report on that and, and try to, you know, show this whole thing. You know, show it and make the Bible look like it's this horrible book. You know, but whatever. I'm not going to keep showing this. This is the Old Testament here, the brick Bible, the Old Testament. Here you have the New Testament, you know, and, and uh, you know, all this different stuff in here. I mean, just, you know, I mean, what kind of a serious individual, what kind of a man would actually spend days, weeks, years with Legos and putting them together and pay, taking pictures of them, with high definition cameras, and then putting it together as a Bible? What kind of a mind does this sort of thing? Uh, well, you ought to watch the uh, study on uh, mental illness, how God defines mental illness, and, and you'll get a good idea who would kind of who would put this kind of junk together. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to show uh, videos and things like this of it. You can look it up. Brick Testament, I think, is, is the YouTube channel. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, they're just going to keep coming out mocking the Bible and things like that. You know, and 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 why? Well, eventually to to criminalize anybody that that uh, believes the Bible. Let me just show you that real quick. You know, I've talked about this in other studies, but a couple years ago, a friend of mine told me he said, "Hey, you got to see this part of this one movie." And I, don't, I don't watch Hollywood movies. I don't recommend Hollywood movies. But you know, he said this book of Eli. It was called the Book of Eli, and it came out and had Denzel Washington in it. And he says at one point in time that there's a hole trip in the sky, and the Bible is blamed for it. And they gathered up all the Bibles and they burned them. You know, and um, it's interesting because he has the last copy of a King James Bible. It's in Braille. It's it's for blind people, but you know he has the last copy of a King James Bible, and he's memorized it and stuff like this. And he he recites it to the people at the end of the movie, and then they they re you know they write it down, they you know rescribe the thing, and then it says New King James. <laughs> you know, what a bunch of nonsense. But you know, here we have Revelation chapter six. Just show you that this does line up with with the future. Um, Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. Lowercase w means written word and for the testimony which they held. So you do see that there is a future uh, prophecy that is given that people will be eventually killed for this book. And this kind of junk over here, this brick Bible, you know, that kind of nonsense is leading up to it because they present the Bible as this gory graphic novel kind of a thing they don't present the bible saying you know the bible gives you the gory details of the past to show you what man is capable of and what man is you know this book if you can sum up this book it'd be very simple the depravity of man the holiness of god in the person of jesus christ okay man is no good jesus christ is god and he is good this is a book about Jesus Christ and the fact that he died to pay for your sins and that man is no good and never will be any good, never has been any good. That's why there's all the gory stuff in there because it de details the sex perversion, the violence, the killing, the murder that's always existed the entire time that man has been on the earth. Man's no good. And God provided a solution through Jesus Christ. And you can read about it in the book. Instead of rewriting the Bible and... and you know, I'm an adult. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna play with toys. I'm gonna take pictures of it and make a make my own Bible. I'm gonna make my own Bible, Lego Bible. What an idiot! I mean, a bunch of junk. You know, I mean, it's my artistic expression. Well, I'm expressing myself artistically right now. You know, I mean, what a bunch of garbage. And by the way, you know, if this Brendan Powell Smith guy is watching or any of his little sodomite friends. Let me just, let me give you one more scripture here. 
Actually, no, I'll, I'll be really loving. I'm going to give you two more scriptures here. Revelation chapter 22, <clears throat> verse 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Just in case you're saying, well, that's just the book of Revelation. Let's go to the double curse verse in the book of Psalms. Number 13 in your Bible, your King James Bible. Uh, or no, wait, Proverbs 13, excuse me. Proverbs 13. Um, the number 13 in your King James Bible will oftentimes line up with God cursing a people. Proverbs 13, verse... Well, let me get it here. Proverbs... 13, verse 13, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. What's your attitude towards the book? Do you fear it? You'll be rewarded. Do you despise this book and come out with Lego Bible? You'll be destroyed. That's the way it is.